Hello, Terracon4 here. I have a uh, fairly simple update for the plane controller that warrants a bit of special attention, though. That being... AI. So, I'd tried my hands at this a while back, way when I was first making this thing. Couldn't get it to work. More recently, tried my hands at it again for one of my own game projects. And got it roughly working in there, so spent some time migrating it over back to the original Unreal version 4.19. This update's going out 4.19 and later, so 4.18 is not... If you're still using that, it's not going to be included in this update, unfortunately. Sorry. Um, I'm basically dropping support outside of critical bug fixes for versions before 4.19 for now, but most people should, I'm guessing, be using stuff after then anyway. So... There is one new actor here, a AI UAV plane demo, there's the spline path, and the plane AI itself. The spline path is fairly simple. It's an actor that just has a spline in it. For anyone who doesn't know how to use these, you can just click on the spline points, and if you hold down Alt and drag, you'll add a new spline point. So you can also do it inside the existing area, and if you want to make them close up like this looking all neat then you can click the spline over here and click closed loop it doesn't actually change anything as far as the AI is concerned it just makes it visually look a little bit better so this is the spline path you can use this in order to create a path for a aircraft to follow here's an example that i've got off on the side section here of the main demo map here we got the uh, ai uav plane you'll notice you just set the initial speed here, like I like to do on a lot of these, and that's it. Otherwise, we just dropped in the plane AI component, and this is all default settings, and it will directly, using those settings and what it's got, control the plane controller itself. Now, for anybody out there who has uh, modified their plane controller in their own projects, like I've done it with several of mine, you might not want to just... Uh, update directly because you don't want to lose whatever your own changes are all you actually need to do is basically add this little section of code in this case it's just a custom event ai control input and then it just uses the uh, standard enough camera inputs which we do this in order to control stuff for the rotation and then add direct throttle input you might wonder about that one basically i just took the normal uh forward movement area of the plane controller added a new event here that directly sets the input and then for the set forward movement changes from input macro added a new input direct throttle input which just goes up here skips the initial area and plugs in here onto this line going directly here to the current max move speed so we just skip this little forward section of the code since we've already set the throttle ourselves and so yeah we call that and the two existing rotation things. And we just use this as a little event here. That's all the things calling. So this is all you need to really add to your own uh, controller if you've modified it and you don't want to completely replace it with this one. So that's all you need to do. So going back, uh, the spline path, basic instructions on how to modify splines. And here's the plain AI itself. For starters, do you want it to engage hostiles or other actors. If so, it searches by tags, various things, max range, can it see it? And if so, it will find a target. If it's then set to engage them, it will make attack runs, circle around them, or do bombing runs. Uh, bombing runs are just attack runs, but it is set altitude over the target. Attack runs are where it will fly around, out to a distance, then come in straight towards the target like it's going in for a gun run. Then when it gets close, it will do a breaking, uh, in a certain breaking distance, it would pull off and go fly around until the cooldown is over. Circling is just circle around a target clockwise or counterclockwise at a set altitude or at an altitude relative to the uh, target itself, based on some settings. And if it doesn't have any uh, targets or stuff, then, or a manually set target location in advance, then it would go down here and try to find a path actor, get the uh, path there, and simply find, okay, where's the closest spline point, navigate from one to the next as it gets close to them, and then eventually there's the code for actually uh, 
nav turning towards that point and flying to it. There's also some basic avoid ground for making sure it doesn't crash into the ground, and collision avoidance for effectively tracing out in a path around it in order to try and see if it's going to bump into anything, and if so, it'll override its commands to pull up or turn away from whatever that is. So that's the basics as far as this goes, and let's just simulate to watch it fly. So here we can see it's pretty much just following along these blind points. You got a uh, option for its point tolerance. You want to set that fairly large for aircraft, or else it might be stuck infinite, infinitely circling around something, unable to get close enough. So as long as you set it based on how sharp you turn, how fast your aircraft moves, you should be good though. So as you can see, it's pretty much just the basic plane controller, but now being controlled by an AI to follow around on this path. And in the demo, you could set a, a target tag for it to chase after and put that on one of the other planes if you want to fly one of those around and get attacked by it. But no weapons or anything on this, of course. This is purely just the flying and movement behavior. But yeah, so this is the update, which should be uh, probably came out by now or maybe within the next day or two. I'm not sure exactly when I'm making this video, but simple update, basic AI system. Hopefully it'll help some people and they'll find it useful. Till next time, Derek on 4 signing out. Have a good one and stay healthy.